Guys, it's been another very busy day in the free agency world. The Bears made another move, not named Andy Dalton, and it was re-signing guard Jermaine Afidi to a one-year $5 million deal, including a 4.25 million base salary. Zach, I wanna first talk to you about Afidi coming back, and then we're gonna go over everything else that's happened. I was happy with this. I think Afidi was our most consistent offensive lineman last year. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah, um, I feel like Afidi is a very big factor in the Bears' success when it came down to towards the end of the year with the running game and everything. Afidi kind of came in there and was that anchor that the Bears needed at that front line. Zach, correct me if I'm wrong here, but did they move Afidi to, to tackle? I believe they did, yes. Did they move Afidi to tackle? But I know his actual position is normally guard. He was one of those players we took a risk on, didn't really perform well in Seattle. We got him on a cheap one-year deal, and I'm happy to see him back. Now, the rest of the NFL has just been crazy. Again, it's day two. There's still so much that's going to happen, but a lot of big names did come off the board. So I'm going to read through these. I know you've highlighted a couple that you like, and then we'll go back and talk about it, okay? Yeah. So the Ravens are bringing back one of their own re-signing linebacker, Tyus Bowser, to a four-year, $22 million deal. Former Seahawks cornerback Shaquille Griffin is signing a three-year deal with Jacksonville worth up to $44.5 million with $29 million guaranteed. He was one of the top corners that came off here. It was You're going to see it was a big day for cornerbacks. The Bengals are signing former Steelers cornerback Mike Hilton, keeping him in the AFC North. The Browns are signing former Falcons first-round defensive end to Karis McKinley to a one-year deal worth a little more than $4 million. Leonard Williams has agreed to a three-year $63 million extension with $45 million guaranteed with the New York Giants. Good for him. The Giants are also signing former Bengals speedster and first-round pick John Ross to a one-year deal. Hopefully a change of scenery will be good for him. Former Chargers quarterback Tyrod Taylor reached an agreement on a one-year deal with up to $12.5 million with the Texans. The Jaguars are giving former Lions wide receiver Marvin Jones a two-year deal worth $14.5 million. Happy to see him out of the NFC North. The Ravens have agreed to terms with defensive end Derek Wolf on a three-year deal worth $12 million. The Dolphins are signing former Rams running back Malcolm Brown. Hook him. The Titans are signing former Saints cornerback Janoris Jenkins. The Saints have traded defensive lineman Malcolm Brown to the Jaguars. Hook him again. William Jackson and the Washington football team agreed to a three-year deal worth $42 million with $26 million guaranteed. Former Colts quarterback Jacoby Brissett has reached an agreement on a one-year deal with the Miami Dolphins. The Cardinals are re-signing starting right tackle Calvin Beecham on a two-year deal. Justin Hardy has agreed to a three-year deal with the Jets. The Bills are expected to land veteran wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders on a one-year deal worth $6 million. That has been confirmed at the time of this recording. The Seahawks are working to finalize a two-year deal with defensive tackle Puna Ford worth roughly $14 million. Hook em. Jermaine Afidi is signing a one-year deal worth $5 million with the Chicago Bears like we already addressed. And cornerback Terrence Mitchell is expected to sign with the Texans. Sources said a tough physical corner lands in Houston with a two-year deal worth $7.5 million. Okay, Zach, I know that was a lot, and I just gave you about 20 different deals, but what stands out to you? Um, So, I'm going to just, instead of just going by each, like, this team's... Yeah. The Jaguars. Dude, I mean... They've done a it, great job, Zach. They're doing all... They're, they're killing it, man. I mean, the Jaguars, they got the running back they needed last yesterday. They go out and get Griffin. They go out and get Malcolm Brown. Then they also get Marvin Jones, adds just another piece to potentially Trevor Lawrence's mm. development. Zach, what about the, the Titans on defense, dude? They add another the piece with Janoris Jenkins? Yeah, the I mean, a lot of the teams, I mean, the Titans, the Jaguars have had a very good offseason so far, I'd say. Anyway, guys, make sure you do drop a like. Make sure you guys do drop a subscription. Check out Zach. He does stream over on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.